John Martin was one of Boston's premier sports videographers. His lens brought New Englanders a front row seat to some of the greatest moments in sports. For 19 years, he worked the sidelines covering our teams, from morning skates in January to late night wins in October. He was part of the fabric of Boston sports for nearly two decades, building friendships with some of New England's most colorful characters. His joy, humor, and energy was cherished by everyone who worked with him, as well as by the athletes and teams he covered. Very sad news uh, for us as a team because uh, John was uh, such a fun man to be around and um, on behalf of uh, uh, whole Bruins and our team. I would uh, like to express my deepest condolence to his uh, uh, wife Adrian and uh, his two daughters. And uh, uh, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. He was a good guy to get to know. Um, you know, run around every day. I mean, our our job is crazy hours and things like that. He always had a smile on his face, cracking jokes, things like that. So um, you know, it's sad. He was a tremendous guy, very energetic, all the time, always smiling, and uh, he'll be uh, dearly missed. I'm going to start today by offering our condolences to John Martin, his family, his wife and daughters and friends, and had a long battle with uh, ALS, and he was a well-respected guy here in the Boston media scene, so um, fortunate, but uh, it was a tough day for their family, so we, and the Bruins here pass on, uh, like I said, our condolences. He was always such a bright smile when he was around, the way he, he carried himself and loved what he did. And he was, you know, for us, for me, you know, whether it be in an event or, or something else, he always had a smile and he was always upbeat. And, you know, I, I feel bad for their families and, and for them. John passed away Sunday night after a two-year battle with ALS. In those two years, the sports community rallied around his family and their advocacy to find a cure for the disease. In 2017, the old-time baseball game benefited the fight, and Hall of Famer Pedro Martinez not only played in the game, but dropped by the Martin household to spend time with John, his wife Adrian, and their daughters Kaya and Gabby. So I was searching myself. I didn't know what I was going to find, but when I, as soon as I got off the car, through the window, I saw that big, bright smile. Uh, I, I, I lifted myself up uh, right away. Cafe Martin became a place where love and support gathered for John and his family. Originally named for the front porch outside their home, Cafe Martin became a state of mind. And Cafe Martin caps soon popped up in locker rooms and press boxes everywhere even showing up on stage this summer at Fenway. There's a little something called uh, Cafe Martin in uh, Newton, Massachusetts. Gives the family support. And I want to know that he has my support. Boston's teams held fundraisers to raise money for John's fight and awareness of the need for a cure. Cafe Martin became a beacon of hope amidst the darkness of ALS. John Martin um, was uh, one of the most important, influential people here at Fenway Park because we all felt the same way about him. We all loved him. Um, he was such a great part of the Red Sox and Nesson family for so many years. Um, he was involved in everything that we did. John won five Emmy Awards and this year was inducted into the Silver Circle for his significant lifetime contributions to television. He'll be long remembered by the hundreds of young players he coached in the South End Little League, and as a man who brought endless smiles to those of us who worked the games, and to all of you who watched them at home. John is survived by his wife, Adrian, and two young daughters. He was 51 years old.